All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to this video. It's Sunday today and uh, it's been a pretty slow day and I thought it was a good time to make an accessories video. I've gotten a few comments over the past few months just uh, regarding like belts and stuff that I wear and I thought it was a good time just to make a video and kind of show everything that I kind of wear um, as far as accessories and also give ideas um, as far as like how to find these things. So I wouldn't say I have anything um, kind of extraordinary or anything. I'm not going to pull out like a Cartier bracelet or anything, but a lot of these things are just stuff I've uh, kind of gotten over the years and I've worn very frequently. Yeah, so I kind of just go over some sunglasses I wear, some belts I wear, some other little accessories like what I use for my keys and stuff like that. I think it'll just give people some good ideas as far as if they're interested in like some of the things I wear and what to look for on eBay and stuff like that to find that something that's pretty similar. I think I'll first start just with like my keys and my wallet because uh, those are just like the everyday things that everyone kind of uses. Um, and then I'll get into like some sunglasses and my belts and uh, everything else that I have from there. First thing that I want to go over um, is just like the keychain that I use. And uh, I've had this for like three years now, I think, maybe two to three years. And uh, it's just the good Art Hollywood belt loop buddy. And this is like the brass color. Um, I'm sure if you guys have watch like Instagram reels and TikToks and stuff like that from other people that make clothing videos. They've probably gone over this. Um, I think recently it's kind of not like necessarily blown up a little bit, but it's been around in some videos recently. And uh, I think it's just a nice little belt loop kind of thing. I'll take a closer uh, video of it after to kind of show just how it goes on to your belt loop. But it's just a very minimal design. Um, this is the brass one. The, there's like a sterling silver one or something that's like three times or four times more expensive. Um, so that's why I think a lot of people just go for the brass one. But yeah, this is a nice little way to uh, get your keys onto your belt. I have a few other sets of keys um, and I'll just throw them onto like one of these old hooks or something like that. All right, the next big thing um, that I'm of course carrying every day is my wallet. And uh, this is just a leather wallet that I got on Etsy from a seller in Japan. So, um, so yeah, I was looking for like a trucker kind of wallet so I could throw a chain on it but I didn't want one of the really long ones because I just felt like I didn't want to take up so much space in my pocket um, so this is like a half size trucker wallet and just has two sides for my cards and I can throw some cash in there um, but yeah I just thought this one was sweet because it has a little bit of the studding in the corner and uh, fits in my pocket easily. As far as the chain that I use um, I got this chain at the flea market for a few dollars and it was just like an old dog chain I think and then I just bought a shackle from Home Depot and then I just bought like another clip from Home Depot. So I threw those two on there just so I could connect it to my wallet and then be able to hook it onto my belt loop. Yeah, I've actually had quite a few times where the wallet chain has come in clutch for me. Um, just when I'm like sitting at the bar or something and sometimes my wallet will squeeze out of my back pocket or if I'm biking or something, sometimes the, my wallet will like kind of shake out of my back pocket. And this has saved me quite a few times. I would definitely recommend having a wallet chain um, I think it's become kind of trendy over the past few years, but I've seen a lot of times where it's served me well. So I'm just gonna go over a few sunglasses that I wear now. Um, there's like five sunglasses here. I wore sunglasses more when I was living in Los Angeles just because it's a lot more sunny there, I'd say. Um, in San Francisco, it's pretty cloudy a lot of the time. So I haven't really worn sunglasses so much over the past few months. But when I was living in Los Angeles, I was wearing sunglasses like every day. And uh, these are like my favorites. So two sunglasses from a brand called Aquila. Um, these are the Aries model and they kind of have like a very thick frame um, and I like this like red lens that they have. I wore these a lot when I was living in Los Angeles and also I liked these when I was riding my motorcycle because they really covered like around my eyes very well. Um, I think they fit my face well. I think that's the biggest thing with sunglasses is just making sure they fit your face well. And I think the quality on these is really nice. This is another pair of Aquila sunglasses. These are the Polaris. And they also have a pretty thick frame, but these are a little bit slimmer um, and more like rect rectangular. Really similar to the other ones, um, probably around the same price range, um, but I feel like they have served, served me well and I've worn them all a lot of times, especially in Los Angeles. The next pair of sunglasses I have are a pair of Oakley Radar Path or something is what they're called. Um, the Radar something, I think there's like a few different kind of iterations of these. By far like my favorite sunglasses as far as just really comfortable to wear and like the lens is really nice and 
they stay on your face well and things that you'd expect from like a pair of sunglasses like these. Um, I don't normally wear these out regularly, but when I was working in construction, I was wearing these like every day and I would wear them for like nine hours straight. Yeah, as far as like a really nice pair of sunglasses that serve their purpose well, um, these are like a really nice pair of sunglasses. I think if I was living in Los Angeles still, I would be rocking these a little bit more just regularly. But since I'm here and there's like almost no reason to wear sunglasses a lot of the time, I haven't worn these in a while. But yeah, these are definitely a pair of sunglasses that I got my use out of and wore these so much and uh, definitely stand by the Oakley sunglasses. All right, now I'm just gonna get into some of the belts that I own, the belts that I wear. Um, this is a belt that I got on Etsy, maybe a year and a half ago or something like that. And uh, I think the seller was just like, um, some person who like made leather goods, but this is just a white leather studded belt. Uh, I threw my own belt buckle on there. So this is like a nice old belt buckle with a uh, like skull on it. All right, and the next belt, um, I've shown this in a video before, maybe like a year ago now, but this is just an old Easy Riders magazine belt that I'm pretty sure you could order from the magazine back in like the 80s or something like that. And uh, this is super heavy, it's probably like almost two pounds or something. It's just like a motorcycle chain belt and uh, you kind of wrap it around your waist and then you hook it with these two hooks on here. I've worn it a few times. Um, you would think that because it's heavy, it will kind of weigh your pants down. But as long as you kind of get it tight, it serves its purpose well. All right, this is the belt that I was wearing. I had to take it off real quick. Um, this is like my everyday belt. It's another nice little studded belt that I've gotten on eBay, I think, uh, maybe three years ago at this point. Yeah, there's not much to say. I think the belt just kind of speaks for itself. It's really cool. Um, a lot of people have noticed it when I'm wearing it out and kind of gone and asked me about where I got it. Um, I've gotten comments on these and usually you could just search up like vintage studded belt on eBay. You could also search up like rockabilly belt and uh, a lot of different kind of ones that look similar to this will probably come up. All right, I have another belt that I want to share here. Um, this is more of a classic one. This is just a black leather studded belt with studs kind of running all around the sides. Um, this, I didn't feel like taking this one off my jeans because I just wear these jeans all the time and wear the same belt with it. Yeah, you can see that I have a bunch of different kind of styles of belts. Um, I think they're all really sweet and I always get questions on them. They're also really easy to find. There's a lot of people that make leather goods on Etsy that sell belts like this. Um, and then this kind of brings me into my next item. This is just a big safety pin with like a nice little stone on it. And uh, this always stays on these pairs of jeans also. I haven't taken this off this pair of jeans for quite a while now. Um, I just think they look good with this indigo color. And as far as things hanging off your belt loop, I uh, am wearing this pair of little uh, handcuffs that I have here hanging off here. And I think this is pretty sweet. If you want to find something similar to these on eBay, you just go and put like mini handcuffs and these will come up. You can also throw your keys on this, which would be pretty cool. All right, the last thing as far as belts are just belt buckles. Obviously you can get a ton of different cool looking belt buckles at like the flea market or on eBay, something like that. This one's pretty cool. This one's just like the front of a truck and then just says truck and ain't for sissies. Um, yeah, I've worn this on my belt sometimes. This one's pretty big, so I don't like wearing it all the time, but it's cool to just have like a nice little belt buckle sometimes. All right, the last thing I have to go over are, I guess, jewelry. Personally, don't wear a lot of jewelry. I think you can see I don't really wear that many bracelets or anything. There was like a period in my life a few years ago where I was wearing bracelets and I had like a few sterling silver ones that I didn't take off for like a year or two. Um, and then I just kind of grew out of it, I guess. Um, maybe at some point in the future, I'll start doing it again. Yeah, the only jewelry I kind of wear right now are, uh, these two necklaces. I haven't taken these off in, I don't know, two or three years now. They're both just sterling silver necklaces that I got off eBay. If you go on eBay and you search of like sterling silver necklace, you'll have a bunch of options come up. I just threw an old Chrome Hearts pendant on this one and uh, that's what I've been rocking over the past two or three years. These are four different bracelets that I've um, kind of accumulated over the years from like flea markets and stuff like that. They're all sterling silver. This one's just a silver one with like a sweet amber stone around it. And then this one is one that I'm really stoked on. I've never seen like a heavy link like this. Um, I've worn this one quite a bit actually. This is like my favorite bracelet as far as all the ones I have. And then this is another one I've gotten at the flea market. This is another one from Mexico. 
that uh, has like nice uh, stones on it. Just looks really cool. And then you just got your classic uh, kind of link here, which is like another alternative to a nice bracelet. And the last piece of jewelry that I have um, with me here in San Francisco is this cool ring. I'll get like a close-up shot of it, but it's basically just like a skeleton hand um, that wraps around to make a uh, ring. And uh, it has like rings on the skeleton hand itself also, which is pretty sweet. Um, but that's like the only ring that I have here and the only one I wear every so often. And this is the last thing I have to show here. Um, this is a really sweet necklace that I got on Etsy a few months ago. And uh, it's just on this like silver bead chain. Um, but it's like a little Zippo that has like a clover on the front of it. And uh, it actually works. So if you fill some Zippo fluid in there, you can uh, spark it up and uh, use it as a lighter. Yeah, I hope this gave you guys some ideas as far as the accessories that I wear and what you guys can start wearing also. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll get to them as soon as I can.